Let's try this again. Hopefully they're not buggering out this time. Bugging out. The other thing is not quite the same. Um, but there's two of them. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be interesting. We need to get close fast. They can't use their shooting abilities, otherwise we're totally screwed. And they're using their shooting abilities. Will never work. Yeah. Uh, the weapon is simply too slow. We need to get to close quarter fighting immediately, so it has to be the Rhino Club. It's fairly effective, and we can do quick strikes on them. At least get rid of one of them, and we should be safe. Cannot let them start shooting those goddamn balls. If they do that, we're we're done for. Quite a realistic chance that I totally lost my train of train of thought. Yeah, I, I'm not quite sure how we should do this. We don't have good options, and our life is very low. That's the bigger problem. I can't restore the six thousand and just fight God. If they start throwing those goddamn seeking balls, it's all over for us. The shark sword. Yeah. We would have to go from the front. Let's try this. How effective is this? Maybe we can sort of retreat to get away from the, the range attacks. See how that works. Usually. Tactics aren't quite as important since you can just You can afford to take some damage, but now that we really can, we really, really really can, it's becoming a huge problem.
Yeah, that, that went fairly well. No, no real complaints. Wonder what's the condition? Yeah, we didn't lose the res any resistance either. So yeah, that went fairly well. And we're nearing the end, so... Just a little bit more and we're done. I save, I think I save. This is a... Uh, the only elevator right though. Yep. There's the bottom. So this is gonna take a while. Save again, save again. Uh, I don't want to do. I don't want to do this elevator right multiple times. Okay, we have about three and a half thousand worth of healing. Two and a half. See how far that goes. But we will get a level up though, so. Hopefully. Another one, really. Well, it's a single one, that shouldn't be too bad because it can. Not quite a lot, but it is close. If we encounter anything after this, that should be the level up. Ah, let's see. It wasn't... didn't go well, but... succeeded. So, what next? you again. We'll take about seven shots to kill it. Exactly a huge amount of paper. And it's fairly harmless as long as we don't go close to you. Okay. 
can't really see. It's big, and that's about it. Big and harmless. But if we didn't have this sword, I, I, I honestly don't know how the hell I would take care of this. Flamethrowers, you huge sky, sky, sky fan. How the hell would you deal with this? But badly. Now it's sort of about to be really easy to take care of. So the sword and the runes make a huge difference. I don't think you can use any of the special attacks if you don't have the, all the runes. So. So, I think we're going to the last boss we have for life. Lovely level 21. So, that's maybe extra stamina for us. Uh, I'm not sure about that. It might not give us anything. Yeah, this is about as good as it's gonna get. So. Now, I'm fairly confident we can, we can do this. If we can go there. Where did we come from? I'm not quite sure. Must have come from here then. <sighs> the lit lights certainly are an indication where I should go, but you never know. I thought there might be an indication of where I've arrived. Because they didn't do... Yeah, yeah. Couldn't have extended that bridge earlier. Sort of as a hint where the player needs to go next. We don't have anything really here though. So we have about 2500 hit points extra. So we can get damage here. Any unnecessary damaging. And we're screwed. On the positive side, we can take those couple of thousands extra points of damage. I I'm not gonna start fire healing too much in the middle of the fight. Never, never works out well. Checking the sites mainly to see if there's healing item, power potions, anything. Anything that would indicate that the game wants us to take the last few things before the fights begin. Really, it's just a huge, huge hallway. That has nothing in it. Okay. This is the end. Give me your life, and with it the life. 
life and light of the gods that are held within. Reminds me of a little bit about the theme comes to mind. Only eighty thousand. So this will be about 20 attacks on it. Uh, I need to check. Yana's light does about 3,000 points of damage. Here. We need to check what the rage of the goddess does. Basically the same attack, but if it does significantly more damage, we'll use that one. There's a lot of rest period in between attacks anyway. Doesn't really matter which one you use, especially. But no, that's not how you use it, though. Shit. Two thousand. So it's weaker than the light and. Costs more and uh, why the hell would anyone use it? Ah, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a game designer thing. You have to be a game designer to understand the intricacies of making a more expensive attack on the same weapon. We suck here. This isn't hard. This is the definition of a tedious boss battle. There's no real risk at this point. And we can just use cover if we encounter any real risk. So oh, that's a that's a real risk. So what it means that's a close range weapon though. This battle is basically totally impossible without this sword. Well, you have to figure out the way to deal with the lightning attack. And I, I, I have no idea how you do that. There's no defense against it. Just drills you if you come too close. So, come too close. Away. So we're gonna be doing this hard sea crap for I don't know how long until it gets to the next phase of the fight. I think it starts using increased, more dangerous abilities, but 
basic nature of the fight will not change. I think maybe when we get it to 50% health or low, we'll start doing something else. Using stronger abilities, things like that. We don't want to be in the middle though. We need to keep distance towards the target. Isn't this fun and exciting? At least the fight with the sorcerer was really, really dangerous. It was the initial annoying stage of it, but after that it was okay. He fight forty use abilities. It, it was. Once the initial stage was over, it was short and brutal. Just fine. This is Lung and TBO. Yeah, fifty percent health, and he started to use other abilities. So, what it means basically is we do have to properly take cover. You'll get more improved long-range abilities. He's trying to electrify us. That's fine. Thirty-six thousand yeah. health. Don't don't want to stay in the same place for long. Crap. Run. That will follow us to the end of the earth. The red goddamn mist thing. So we need to use the pillars to pillars to let it hit them instead of us. There's no... Uh, I'm not sure if you can block them, but since we don't have a shield, it's sort of a, not much of a question, we have to block it by something else. I, I don't like the sound effect either, that it makes sort of overwhelmed overwhelming on the background and it gets stuck. It's there even though there's nothing coming at us. In take a single shot get the hell out of here. I want to extend things. But to risk it getting closer. I'm not quite sure what the lights mean. Oh, we can do two shots before we're in trouble. I hate this. Even though the shot disappears, the noise doesn't. to stay uh, in the same place for too long. <sighs> yeah. This 
in. This fight should have been over a long time ago, one way or another. And fudging sound effects. Stay in one place for too long. You know what kind of attacks we'll have has in this back pocket. We were at electric electric range, so that's a bit dangerous. Fucking sound effects. Ah, they're making this even more unbearable. Watch. Throwing more of them. Jesus Christ. Can you please just die so I don't have to listen to this. Ah, more. Did anyone who played as this thought, wow, what fun, what fun this is? Annoying sound constantly in your ear, not the fighting that you you like probably if you bother to play the game this far is uh, totally absent. It's just some kind of shitty typical boss fight crap. Uh let's get behind the pillar. I think he's shooting a lightning crap at us. <sighs> Welcome to the exciting conclusion of the Severance. So we're about eight hits from finishing it. Got saved. I certainly don't want to redo this crap. But first, yep, seven hits. We'll take about seven. That's a bit of too close for comfort. Okay, anything happening? Run! Ah. 
I have to say, this is probably the worst boss fight I played in a long, long time. And I, we, I've played a lot of these games recently. Games that aren't good versions of this, or at least top of the line. And everyone is thinking one of them had something better. Even a normal, basically a tougher version of a normal boss is more entertaining than this. Maybe there's some kind of other way to do things. But again, if I go close, there's the lighting, and I can't do shit about the lighting, so. I don't really have health anymore. I can't just heal up. So, any damage they can do to me will stick at this point. So I have to go. I can't take a lot of risks. Get out of there! Get out! Get out of there! Ah. I don't want to stay in one place for long. What kind of crap you'll shower me with? Ah, oh. might as well tank our help while we're building these. I can't even hear any character noise anymore because this, this loud humming at the background constantly. Quickly behind the pillar, protection from electricity attack. Uh, I'll save and try. Try to attack it at this point. This should have enough damage to take care of it quite quickly because it can't do any kind of attacks. I don't think it can do it anyway. Yeah. No noises being heard besides that awful god awful puppy can be heard at this point. Yep, that did quite a lot of damage. So, since it doesn't seem to be using it lightly now, I'm going to finish this quickly. I need to finish it off with the sword. Is that it? Ah. Oh. Silence. Please die already and uh, my ear Be 
music in the background. It's quite scary. And slowly walking away from the sword. Doors close. Game end. Ugh. Thank God it's finally over. And we're at the option screen. There's the other game just seems there. Ah. Uh, although I do have to say that the end level, the abyss is very, very tedious and painful because you don't have a lot of healing anymore. But I guess the final boss could have been done better. I mean, I could have fought it better. It does use the lightning attack, so I was very cautious about since we had a, didn't have all that much health and I didn't have all that much healing. But you could have done uh, sneak attacks on it, try to get to do the shark sword special attack. That could have probably would have gone down a lot faster. Yeah, I, I think that's very likely. So, part of that tediousness was definitely my own fault, I think. Because we didn't have a lot of, a lot of healing, I was overly cautious. And, I'm not sure, it might act differently in different stages of the fight too. But anyway, that's that's besides the point. I, I played this a second time through because I wanted to see how the experience differs from the Corbin one. And, I say it differs quite a lot. The problem is that the game is not good enough to really support multiple playthroughs. I'd say the second playthrough was at the borderline. I, I have no interest in playing this a third time. Yeah, no matter how much the different characters might be different, there's not enough of a difference to, for it to matter that much. That said, the Barbarian was much more varied in gameplay. Uh, the Dwarf was the dwarf lives or dies by the weapon special abilities. Uh, with the barbarian, they matter a lot. But you can still fight fairly effectively using your character special moves and just fighting with the weapon because the damage is so high. It's almost 1000 with the shark sword. 800 plus something, but the average enemy has maybe two to three thousand points of health. So that's not all that many hits to take down. It might have some armor, but it's still four to five hits that you can make a kill out of that. So it allows you to, especially with the character special moves, to fight without relying too heavily on the weapon special move on every fight. Uh, with the dwarf, uh, I felt the exact opposite is truth. You'd be fool not to use them. They're so fast and quick, at least some of them, and they're powerful enough so you can either with one or two hits kill most of the weaker enemies. And you can easily do the boss fights too, because you can evade, do your quick little special move and then just wait for it to attack again and repeat until everything is dead. So I'm not quite sure which one was the harder at the end. They're different. Different enough that uh, I'd say the Barbarian was more interesting because it allowed more variety. But yeah, not interesting enough to really warrant multiple playthroughs just to play with different characters. Maybe a couple, but that's pretty much it. Third would be stretching it. It wouldn't be fun for me anymore to play this. Probably it would be fun at the earlier stages, but when we a third time doing this, I Abby's crap, I, I I don't think so. Not worth it, not worth it at all. So yeah. My opinion about the game hasn't really changed. It's still a has strong points, but it has uh, really crappy parts too. And some characters certainly I feel offer a overall better gaming experience, and I think Barbarian offers better than that.
probably one of the strongest. And that's entirely because you are allowed to fight with other metasynthesis relying on their weapon special mode. I can't say how true that is for the others. Uh, I know you can do it with the Amazon because but her special move is only one move that you repeat a, 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 with every opponent. So it's not all that much variety, doesn't bring all that much variety to the table. But yeah, uh, uh, and um, I'm definitely done with this. It's an okay game, but... Okay game with some strong points, but it doesn't have that much replay value, so... Definitely don't want to play this again.